half five in the afternoon now so i put up some of the flowers to see how they look with their pots i'm not too sure if this is how i'm going to keep them i'm going to stop here and wash up nala's still cooped up in her little corner i think i'll give her some time as well because she's been here all morning and uh, usually she likes to have a little play and a cuddle and stuff but i've been so busy i haven't really had the time to play with her so i'm gonna do that now and there's not really much else to film today it's really just sitting down and just coming up with ideas on how to paint and how i want uh, to decorate the pots to match the plants baby what are you doing here what is it what is it okay inspection over that's enough that's enough bye now sorry if nala's in the shot she um she's a bit nosy they can see you you know hey <gasps> i can't believe you did that get away from here don't touch mommy's plants. Bye. Go have some snacks. Go to daddy. Anyway.
So I think I'll give that drawer a proper clean and organize it a little bit. These ones, I got them from Lidl a while back and I don't think they do them anymore. These two are not water-based, they are just normal acrylic paints. I actually want to find a place for these. So these are a set now, so I'm going to try and keep them together so that they are easy to find. And here they are. I would say this took me all in all about two weeks, including the drying time, and I am happy with the result. So I really love how these have turned out and obviously they puff up um, more once they're exposed to sunlight and this is why I'm keeping them away from direct sunlight. I have a few more of these rabbit's tail left. I'd probably make a few more of these pots and use up the rest of them. I enjoy doing these things. In my spare time, I'd rather be doing this than, you know, thinking about all the to-dos and um, letting other things kind of creep into my free time. These things really, they take your mind off of, you know, things that normally stress you out. If you can make something like this by hand and present it to someone, you would make their day. You know, it's completely handmade, hand painted, and it's unique. There is not another one out there. Even these two, they're like completely different size. So I wasn't able to get it exactly the same shape. So all of these are unique. So I think I read it, these flowers are handmade in rural India. So like it employs women. I bought them from Hobbycraft and they get to basically come and do these, learn some skills and make handmade flowers and things and they earn a living through it. So even the flowers are handmade.